What's cooking money like movement? JJ Ramos here. Welcome back to YouTube, IGTV, or LinkedIn, wherever you're wherever you're watching this one. And it's time again for Advocacy Friday. Now we're going to do the uh, that usual SOP of well, we're going to discuss uh, a post from my blog first, then of course the objection of the week. If you're into sales or network marketing, you should watch till the end. Okay. So let's uh, let's dig let's dig right now to the to the blog post. Now, the title of that blog post was uh, "Goals and Dreams Never Exchange Them for Anything," but I'm going to retitle it just exclusively for this episode. So you got I think you've already seen the title of this episode. So you're gonna you're gonna expound, right? Well. Basically, what I said there was, uh, it was a time when, of course, my father passed away, and I had to look for extra streams of income, okay, to to help pay, to help uh, recover the losses we incurred. Of course, siempre. May nakasakit na, may nakasakit kang anak, ka So that's that's a double one financially. So we have to, we have to find some way to get it all back. I found this ad. It's a sales job for a charitable organization. So, I interview ako. I passed, and uh, they they called me in to uh, to call this for a tour of the of the workplace. At that time, I wasn't doing this, all right? I wasn't thinking big. I was thinking small. <laughs> I was thinking really small. Microscopic, actually. So, it's a conducive naman. It's, uh, it's, a, positive, it's a positive sales environment, pero the scheduling made me, uh, made me think. The scheduling made me think. I have to endure six day work weeks. Kailangan, uh, kailangan tumawa ko sa boot na yon for six days. Tapos may, may day off. Of course, may day off. Siyempre, kailangan yun eh. And I thought, if I were to, if I were to be scheduled at the closing, yung kumaga, kasi may, May opening siya, may closing. If I were to be scheduled at closing, what a disadvantage ang business ko. What a disadvantage ang never marketing business ko. Okay? So I decided not to push through it anymore. Alright? That was the lesson I learned. If something is detrimental to your goals and dreams, don't take it. Okay? Don't bite into it. That was the lesson I learned. And up to now, I am still uh, reminding myself of that lesson. Okay? Especially when, especially uh, during uh, exploring brand deals. Do ko ginagamit yung lesson na yun. <clears throat> if the brand, okay, if uh, if the product or service being offered to me doesn't doesn't serve my won't serve my brand well in the long run hindi ko kakagatin hindi ko kakagatin right and so far um, so far it has worked right I've been getting brand deals that are relevant to me being a YouTuber being an influencer being a network marketer right so yeah it's been working for me right now now, for those, uh, for those, for those of you who are still struggling or confused, whether to to go back to your job, whether to go full time on your business, here's my tip. Here is my tip. If it's if it's detrimental to what what priority you have in life, or or what money priority you have. Don't take that opportunity. Alright? 
I know it's well I said in video in in one of my videos opportunity knocks always yeah that's it okay? don't ever think that opportunity only knocks once okay? it always knocks as long as you have this in, as long as you have that in your brain it will always knock okay so that gives you the power now to well to see what uh, what brands fit your brand what brands fit your business you have that power now take advantage of it All right so that's the uh, well that's our that's our blog post for this episode on to the objection of the week but first a word from our sponsors What's up guys, JG here. I want to uh, want to pitch this, this co-working venue right now. It's called Workspace. Okay? It's located here in the heart of Pasita One. And well, so far I'm, uh, I'm pretty satisfied well, with their service and the amenities. Okay, let, let's show you. Let me show you. We're actually in the uh, we're actually in the conference room. Uh, Unsa ko hindi kayo magafil ng mga seminar packages. Alright, I'm seriously considering. Okay, I'm seriously considering their seminar packages because sometimes a group meeting or if the if uh, if funds are enough, business opportunity. Right, this is the conference room. Up and down. Yan. Okay, okay, okay. Kung kasi sila. There's a, uh, there's a screen there. So let me show you the, yeah, the main work area. <laughs> I'm currently batch producing episodes right now for our Goals Friday and uh, I've seen a lot of co-working venues but it's a lot of Pasita until I found this one. It was a good choice. Okay? A lot of, it's a, best, it's a very positive environment, okay? very conducive for influencers like me. All right, I don't have to I don't have to batch produce episodes in a mall anymore. <laughs> okay, na nasisitahin ka pa minsan minsan. If you're an, if you're a, if you're a vlogger like me, you I, I bet you've experienced that before. All right, so mabuti pa maginvest na lang kayo or a co-working space para tayo niyo kayo makakabatch po sa mga episodes ninyo. They, they, they allow it naman. Alright. What's the main area? Ito ang maganda ka yan. Marami silang mga outlets. Okay? Either pwede kang magpa-charge ng cellphone or like in my case, nakakabit yung laptop ko. Okay? I don't have to bring the battery anymore. So, self-service. Let me show you the self-service. Okay? Pasa pa nag-co- pasa pa nag-co-working kayo dito, libre ang kape. Okay? Tsaka yung libre snacks yan. Libre snacks, ano? Pasa pa nag-co-working ka? Or just a coffee? Okay. At least yung coffee libre. <laughs> so, here's the cell service area. Right? Now, yung rates nila, medyo. Yung rates nila, uh, competitive, affordable. Now, uh, if you plan to <clears throat> set up group meetings okay dito na lang kayo kaysa nung kaysa yung usual style na either Jollibee, Macdo or Max no? mapagasos pa kayo alright mapagasos pa kayo if it's a quick uh, a quick BOM or business opportunity meeting mga 3 hours kaya na yun kahit na sila kumakay alright so remember the name Workspace alright now uh, Okay, so, what's up? Remember the name, Workspace, alright? Check it later. So, sponsors are done. Well, on to the objection of the week. What is the objection of the week? Can I have a discount? When it comes to giving discounts, okay? If you're, if you're the business owner, right? You shouldn't. If you're just a seller, 
Mm. <laughs> if you're just a, uh, if you're just someone sending for, sending for another business owner, you have no right, right? That's the reality. Now, I've been experiencing this kind, these kinds of objections ever since I've been full time on online selling. All right. People can become cheap. All right. People tend to become cheap when it comes to uh, when it comes to buying something, right? If you would ask me, me, I'm an online seller. I would veer the prospect away from that. I would veer the prospect away from that. I would explain to them, sir, or ma'am. Hindi po kasi. I can't just lower the price. I can't just lower the price. Kasi po bababa ang value ng product ko o, si o, o ang servisyo yung nilalaan ko. Paano po yung mga ibang customers na kumuha naman at that price? Eventually, they'll find out. So, sino po ang... Sino po ang talo? Hindi po ako. Kayo. Kayo po ang talo. Kasi po, Well, there's a there's a uh, there's a fine line. There's a fine line between price and value. There's no balance. If you value, if you see value in my product, you would take it as it is. Well, if not, I can always what well, I can always recommend you to another seller. Ako pa magalok. <laughs> Ako pa magalok. Now. Lowering prices okay, for the for the sake of just one sale is well, it's not worth it. It's not worth it if you're the business owner or uh, an online seller. It's not worth it. But rather, rather bite into that discount objection, offer them that will up the value of what you're originally offering. Yeah. Okay. That is. That's what's called adding value. Adding value. Two words to remember if you're into selling, all right? Or if you're a business owner. How do you add value to your product para makuha ng prospect? Now, I would usually, um, during my early days of online selling, I would, uh, well, I wouldn't offer freebies, right? I wouldn't offer freebies. What I would do is, kapag maraming kinuwa ang customer ko, dadagdag ko pa yun. Without the prospect's knowledge, malalaman na lang niya pag dineliver ko. Right? Because I, I, did this, I did this several times already. And it always leads me to repeat sales. It always leads to repeat sales. Guaranteed. Okay? For example, I had a prospect for uh, for this uh, for this herbal tea I was uh, selling online. I had uh, I was in I'm in good terms with my supplier, so I can offer prices of uh, in bulk. Ngare, maramay nsa lang ko na. E ang kinuha ng isang kinuha kinuha ng prospect na to twelve boxes. Gulat ko. <laughs> Tiba tiba ako nun. So when I when I delivered the uh, when I delivered the goods, direct ako ko na apat pang box as a thank you gift. So the customer appreciated that. Then I think four, I think three to four months later, kumuo ulit siya sa akin. Same number of boxes, direct ako ko pa na up, direct ako ko ulit na apat pang box. And well, her Uh, what's it called? It's her assistant kasi yun yung, yung assistant ang kumukuha sa ang kamit ko parati kasi big boss siya sa isang company the assistant asked me sir, bakit yung dinatagdaga ng apat na ba't yung dinatagdaga pa natin ng apat na kahon ng ano na libre ang order ng boss ko simple lang ang sagot ko alam mo kasi it's one way of adding uh, 
your your boss is a valuable is a valuable client for me all right and it's also my way of saying thank you for it's also my way of saying thank you to her for buying that much from me yeah umaga sa akin yung assistant uh, so yeah okay. seeing that smile on the assistant's face yun Val, added, added value na rin yun. All right. Take heed of what I said in regards to this objection of the week. Okay? Do not offer discounts, especially if you're if you're just a seller. Someone selling for someone. Uh, if, if you're just someone selling for someone else. Okay? You have no right. But what you can do is add value and value to the product or service you are originally offering. Always do that. Right? Makita nyo. Repeat sales yan. Or, bibigyan kayo ng referral. It always works. Trust me. <laughs> Trust this face when it's when I say giving discounts is, uh, is not worth it. Okay? So that's the uh, that's the objection of the week. So that's it for uh, for this episode. If you found value in this episode, and I'm sure you did, you know the drill. Hit that to subscribe. Hit the bell and comment was done. So thank you, thank you all for watching up to this point, and I'll see you in the next episode. Adios, money and life movement.